friends, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are trying another one of the Steam Next Fest, whatever it was called. I forget, it's over now. But we're trying one of those new Steam demo games. I'm really excited for this one because it looks a lot more up my alley than the one I tried yesterday. But yes, it's called Witchwood and we're gonna we're just gonna get right into it. Right into it. As always, I'll move if I have to, but it looks so cute. Ah! <laughs> So let's let me like check my settings first. Oh, ultra quality. I'm hoping I don't have any issues with lagging because that's never fun. Oh, there's, there's, ooh, done. I'm done. I don't want to deal with that. Audio, music volume, effects volume, dialogue sound. All right. Um, I think we should be okay, but it looks super cute. Super like in the Halloween spirit. October witchy. I love it. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for this game and the music is super cute I'm actually gonna turn my sound higher so you guys can hear it for sure. Okay. It's not much higher, but ah, it's so cute already Okay, so uh, New game. I'll have the game linked below too. Once upon a time there lived an odd little witch in an odd little house Ooh, should I should I um, move my face cam? Hold on one second. Okay, that should be better. <laughs> She spent most of her days tending to her odd little garden and resting in her odd little chair. You know, what a life that seems like. On this day, however, her sleep is interrupted by an odd little noise. I love this! Bah! <laughs> the goat, he screams like a man! <laughs> Who's there? Get up. <gasps> Look at the graphics! Click or use F to interact. I feel like I need to turn it down. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god, I love this so much! <laughs> You devil, how dare you wake a young lady from her beauty sleep? <laughs> <Wah! laughs> shoo shoo, get out of my house, you mindless beast. You're making a mess. I think we should let the goat stay. With a swift kick in the rump, you boot the goat through the front door. This is so cute. When did this place get so cluttered? I could have sworn I swept the hearth just yesterday. First things first, my old grimoire must be around here somewhere. This is so fun. New chapter. Ah! First things first. Oh my god, I wish this was the whole game. Full game. Oh my, this is absolutely amazing. So I have to find the grimoire. Okay. Look at the graphics. It's so pretty. Should I move my face cam again? Hold on. We're moving it again. Okay, this should be perfect. Perfectly fine now. I think I've, I think I figured it out. So I need to find the grimoire. There's no like elemental site. What I Oh, I think I found it. Aha, here it is. Hmm, it's lighter than I recall. Your grim grimoire contains all of your craftable recipes. You can open it at any time by pressing H. Okay, yay. Open it by pressing H. Okay, I have one spell, Mending Paltice, a speckled herbal paste that heals aches and pains, heals depleted hearts. Ah, my inventory, map, journal. Okay, all my recipes are missing. That damnable creature has chewed up all the pages of my book. Where's my book? <laughs> Needed to carry my things if I'm to go confront the beast. I must have left it in that trunk over there. Okay, so now we need to find the trunk. Find your braided belt in the chest. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, the chest! A simple rope waistband. Okay. Um, let me take all of these things with me, if I can. Oof, my poor back. How long was I napping for? A good dose of medicine ought to soothe these aching bones before I head outside. At least I still have the recipe for my mending poultice. So, collect ingredients to craft a mending poultice. Here's one of them. Um, well, what ingredients do I need? I need the mushrooms. The mushrooms! I keep pressing F. And, oh my god, my hand is like shifted over. Mushroom, mushroom. And so, I think I have all the ingredients. I love this game! Wah! I should have the ingredients now, so I need to go craft a mending poultice with your gum, 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 uh, craft. Do I not have the things? Oh, I need to hold down. Okay. Noted. Cute. That was a cute sound. Ah, that was the, ah. Use the mending poultice to heal. Okay. Uh, heal. How cool is that? Go outside. Oh my god. I need to, like, shift my keyboard over, so I, I'm, like, hitting one key over. So where's the door? To the outside! Oh, I need to hold down. Okay. <laughs> Look how cool the loading screen is. Overgrown yard. You step outside into a humid marsh and immediately stub your toe on a twisted root. Ouch! Close your eyes for a wink. And the next thing you know, the whole yard's gone to the weeds. <laughs> Somewhere in the distance, you can hear braying through the dense bramble. 
where'd that cross-eyed Billy get to? He could at least put those gnashers to good use on this lawn. Press tab to open your map and get a better look at your surroundings. Okay. Tap. Ah. So zoom out. Oh, okay, so I need to be get it over here. The goat. He beckons without fingers. <laughs> All right, so I'm outside. Find the goat in your yard. It looks like he might be over here. Ooh, what are you? Ooh, fun. Seeker vine. Okay. So, ooh. Some shears will cut these cleanly. Okay, so I can't get that yet. I think I need to go up here then. There he is. The goat. Hello, goat friend. That's not a friend yet. Bah! Is that all you've got to say for yourself? Bah! Ah. <laughs> the goat coughs up a disgusting hairball. The goat can talk? Yes, hello, hello. Can you hear me now? Apologies. It's been so long since I've used a mortal vessel. Oh, I, kn I knew it wasn't just a goat. There's dirt in its mouth. <laughs> plop, plop. <laughs> You can talk my sentiments exactly. Of course I can talk. Has your mind become so filled with cobwebs that you've forgotten your old friend? <gasps> you, uh, you uh, it's good to see you up and up, up and up and about. I was beginning to wonder if you'd ever awaken, though I suppose time flows strangely in this place. Anyway, I've come to collect. Do you have the amount we agreed upon? Oh, you're a loan, loan collector? Oh, this is like the goat IRS. Amount? Amount of what? Oh dear. If you really don't remember, we should go over the contract details again. You really are the go the goat IRS down there. The goat nods its head toward the ocean toward the ancient stone gateway looming nearby. And just how am I supposed to get through that solid rock? You're the one who sealed it last. Take a closer look and I'm sure it will come back to you. Witch's eye. Open your witch's eye with G to inspect objects and creatures and discover their weaknesses. Oh, we do have elemental sight, but it's just called something different and that does a different command. Ha ha ha. Stone pillar. An unusually large standing stone wrapped with enchanted engravings. Weaknesses. Unveiling powder. Okay. So we have the recipe for it. Okay. Don't underestimate your senses. You may be old, but you can see things others cannot. Hidden weaknesses lying below the surface. Ah, I can see it now. There are shallow runes etched onto the surface of the stone, but they are too faint for me to read. A powder of unveiling ought to do the trick. If you hadn't made a snack of my book, I wouldn't have to retranscribe my recipes. I shall not be held liable for any losses or inconveniences incurred as the result of abyssal possession. <laughs> By inspecting objects and creatures, you can learn new recipes to craft in your grimoire. Cool. Okay, so what do I need for the unveiling powder? I have all the things, so let's just craft it. Uh, I love that noise. I don't- I feel like I've heard the noise for, like, when you craft things before, but I can't- I can't put my finger on it. I think it- it kind of sounds like, I think, the cookie noise in Breath of the, 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 the Wild. I can't talk. Use an unveiling powder near the shrine door. Okay, so how do I use it? Uh, oh, I need to reveal. Waha! <laughs> Did that work? Shrine entrance. You smear a handful of the glowing powder onto the runes of the doorway. A cool blue light emanates from the glyphs and envelops the entrance in its aura. You squint, attempting to discern the meaning of the letters. They appear to be in some obscure runic alphabet. What gibberish is this? It looks like it was carved by a frightened head. Hmm, it must be written in the umbral tongue. Allow me to translate. The goat steps up to the doorway and pauses. Hmm, that can't be good. Well, what does it say? The goat swings its shaggy head towards you. Dark, matted wool obscures the creature's beady eyes. I... I cannot see. <laughs> oh, too emo. The goat's too emo. <laughs> Unbelievable. What help are you then? I didn't come here to help. I came to collect. Now do something about this mop of hair, would you? Why can't... Oh, but he doesn't have opposable thumbs. He has no fingers. He can't pull it out of his eyes. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Fine, fine. I think I have some rusty old shears down in the garden. Let's go look for the shears. The garden chest. Yeah. I love this game already. <laughs> I'm kind of obsessed with this game. I'm not even going to lie. Um, yeah. I wish this was more than just a demo. I'm kind of, I feel like I'm going to be very sad when it cuts me off. Because this is so unbelievably adorable. Look at his eyes! With much protesting and a nicked ear, you shear away clumps of dirty hair from the goat's eyes. Ah, much better. Oh, he's cute! Were you always this grotesque? Or is my memory failing me as well? Where were 
like a helmet thing. Why can't, why do we look, how, how, anyways, watch your tongue or I'll give it a good snip too. Now you can read the ruins or not. Hmm. Yes. Ahem. A space beneath, she sleeps alone. Tokens give up to the unknown. Fires of four shall unroot the stone. Razier's burn and await the crone. Crone? Who's it calling a crone? And what are these tokens I'm to burn? Ah, this must be like the first sort of like arc of the game, I guess. Perhaps you ought to take a closer look at those braziers. I feel like I said that wrong, but it's brick the shrine bra bra braziers? Uh, because brazier is like a bra. So I think it's a brazier. I don't know. Empty brazier. Little remains in this brazier, but an undeniably acrid smell. Dog hair, blue feather, frog slime. That's not fun. Actually, you know, frog slime does sound kind of fun, not gonna lie. And shiny stone. Oh, they're all different. This one's empty. This one's ash caked, crusted, and glinting. Dog hair, bird feather, frog slime, and a shiny stone. I don't suppose you swallowed up any of those things while I was asleep? I don't think so, but feel free to sift through this creature's leavings if you want to be completely sure. However, there's a whole world outside this little swamp, you know. See that gateway over there? The one with the lovely green flame? The goat motions to the far side of your yard. I guess a brisk walk in the woods would do these creaky joints some good. Too much time indoors is just bad for the humors. <laughs> ah, this is so cute. Oh my God, is the goat coming with us? Goat friend. Oh no, you're staying over there. So I can cut down this now? Snip. <laughs> cute. Okay. So we're looking for the gate. Ooh, I can snip you too. <laughs> I literally feel like I just want to collect things in this game. This is literally so cute. It's such a cozy game, but oh my God, am I in love? It's like a Halloween cozy game. Absolutely perfect. I wish it was like officially out already. Okay, gather ingredients to light the brazier. Braziers, brazier, ah. Uh, clear away to the forest. So where's the forest? I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. So, it's obviously not this way. Ah, tangled vines. Thick tangled vines have overgrown the ruined entrance. Something sharper than your fingernails will be needed to get through. Can I snip them? Oh, snipping and tearing. Your shears make short work of the bramble. Is this where I need to go? Yeah, green flame. Gather ingredients. Okay, yeah. So, into the darkness, I guess. Here we go. <laughs> How pretty. Space between. You cut your way through the remaining vines and suddenly step onto a cold stone die. The time seems to flow backwards, or maybe it speeds forwards. An oppressive, star-filled void stretches as far as you can see. Though there is no wind or sound in this void, a warm fall breeze and the chirping of birds seizes your attention. A doorway! Okay, so there's multiple different doorways, but it looks like only the one is lit up. So this is back home, but this is where we start to the forest. This is so adorable. I'm literally in love with this game already. I'm gonna be so sad when it cuts me off because this is so fun. I feel like I could play this for hours. Like, oh, a friend! Also a stick. Hello, friend. Bird watcher. The woman spins around on her heels so quickly she nearly hits you with her spyglass. Ah, you startled me. Can't you see I'm busy with my scientific research? <laughs> Research? What is it you're looking for with that contraption? Why, the famed indigo tufted forest lark. They're said to be native to this forest, and this forest only. Have you seen one perchance? You glance upwards at the small blue bird perched atop the oblivious woman's hat. Oh, I didn't even notice. I, I haven't, sorry. <laughs> A shame. Well, it's never too late to open one's eyes to the wonders of the natural world. You never know what you'll discover. She points at a nearby woodland critter stuffing its cheeks with seeds. Take that squirrel, for example. Spend a few moments watching its behavior, and you'll learn everything you need to know about it. Observation is key. Now, if you don't mind, I wouldn't want to miss making an exciting new discovery. The bluebird glances vacantly at you before pooping on the brim of the woman's hat. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> squirrel squirrel friend a simple trap Ooh, i don't have that okay so is there any more things i can collect aha so i need i feel like this is where you get the blue feather also it's listed first and there's a bunch of bluebirds who are you ragamuffin <laughs> oi lady what's the great stinking pot on your head i would ask the same about all those stinking frogs in your trousers <laughs> 
Wait, frog slime. Ah, you're just jealous. The boy fumbles between trying to wrangle all his frogs and swiping ineffectively at wayward fireflies with a shoddy looking bug net. Juggling a little more than you can handle? <laughs> what exactly are you hoping to accomplish? Flailing about like that. Are you daft? My oh, me frogs are hungry, so I gotta catch some of these fireflies to feed them. He takes another wild swing, missing his target entirely. Why don't you let me take a few of those frogs off your hands for a moment? That would let you swing that net properly. Oh, I see how it is. You're after me precious prizes. Well, how about I give you the net and you catch me some fireflies? Like, dude, I just want some frog slime. Th th don't ask. Then maybe I'll think about trading you one of my froggies. The boy wrangles the net and your fest. Er, fa rag, ra ooh, I can't, I can't talk. Eh. Okay, so we switch. Did I get one? Wow, <laughs> this is kind of fun, actually. <laughs> Come here. I think I got them all. What's over here? Oh, a little mushroom. Is that a little mushroom? Thing? Oh, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Got it. Okay, I think I think that should be enough. Well, these hoppers aren't going to stick around with empty bellies. The faster you catch those fireflies, the faster we can eat. I think I caught them. Er, I mean the frogs can eat. <laughs> the boy holds out an empty jar with holes poked in the lid. Here, take them. The boy shakes the jar, rattling the captured insects like pennies in a piggy bank. Oh, these are nice and cheap. <laughs> see, the lads are gonna feast tonight. Now, about our deal, you agreed to trade me one of your pets there. Ha ha ha, what deal? I don't remember making no de- <laughs> A frog squirms out of the boy's overalls and plops down by his feet with a wet slap. <laughs> Dang it, there goes Slippery. <laughs> he takes a clumsy swipe at the amphibian, but the creature squeezes out of his grasp and bounces into the underbrush. Aw, shucks, I never liked him anyways. If you can catch him, he's all yours. Okay. Pete, come here. You are mine. Oh my god. Got him. All right. So we got frog slime. That was, that sufficed for frog slime. Okay. So now we need the blue feather. We need dog hair. Can I, can I catch this thing? No, it won't let me catch a squirrel. I shouldn't need to catch a squirrel though. I don't know how to pronounce that, but okay. Ba -ba 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 <laughs> Ooh, what's this? A hatchet. Do I have a hatchet? I don't think so, but I think I could get one from this guy. A lumberjack? Woodsman. Hey, you there. Give me a hand, would you? With what? You seem to have everything under control. These stumps aren't going anywhere. My darn useless son is supposed to help me, but he's wandered off again. Probably to go bother frogs and eat bugs or some such nonsense. That was the ragamuffin. Anyway, I need help clearing away some of these dead logs. It's late in the season and the wood has started to rot. Just be careful of the purple mushrooms that sometimes grow inside. They'll make you powerfully sleepy if you breathe in the spores. As much as I do love poisonous fungi, I'm not much of a lumberjack. Nonsense! Anyone can experience the joys of splitting a fine stump. Here, my boy won't be missing his hatchet. The woodsman spins a sharp looking hatchet in his hands and thrusts the handle at you. Take it! Okay, so now we have that, which means I could chop this. Ooh, and I got a mushroom. Oh, wait, those are the poisonous mushrooms. You know, it just said added to inventory, so I think it's okay. So what am I, am I just chopping the wood and giving it to him? And what am I getting in return? Oh, I could dig out some coals with the right tool. This is for the rock, isn't it? Get to chopping. Where am I chopping? I think I chopped everything. Where else is, what else is there to chop? Do I go up here? Oh, this is something else entirely. I love the little feet sounds. It's like Wait a second. I, so I can catch a fairy, but I can't catch the blue the the bird. There's so many flower petals around here. Okay, back to the hatchet. Do I just Yeah, no, I need to have something to chop. Do I just wait for it to respawn? I think I just have to wait for it to respawn. I do have to say, materials respawn rather quickly in this game, which I actually kind of like. Because, um, I am a Genshin player. I'm used to 11 hour respawn time caps on basic enemies. Yeah, that should be enough, right? No, he still wants more. Well, maybe this guy up here can give me a shovel. Who are you? Hi, friend. Well, wisher. Aw, oh, man. Aw, oh, jeez. I don't know about this. You tap the man's shoulder and he nearly tumbles headfirst into the well. Ah! What's the matter with you? I could have fallen in. 
then perhaps you shouldn't be leaning over the edge like some wobbly stork. <laughs> What's so interesting down this well anyways? Well, my gr grandpappy used to tell me that people drop all sorts of treasure down there just waiting for someone to dig it up. Ooh, this is the stone. Got myself a t trowel and thought I'd give it a go. But the rope's out and it looks awfully dark and damp. I get goosebumps just thinking about all the ghoulies that might be lurking down there in the shadows. Ever consider that those ghoulies might get goosebumps thinking about you lurking up here in the sunlight? She's got a point. Er, no, not really. Not sure if that makes me feel any better about them, actually. Maybe the business of treasure hunting isn't for me after all. Here, why don't you take my trowel? I don't think I'll be needing it. You can go down into the well and see those ghoulies yourself. Perfect. I will take the trowel. This old well is deep and dark. You might be able to climb down into it, but the rope has long since rotted away. I have some twine. You toss a length of strong homemade rope down into the darkness. It seems like it should support you without much fuss. Okay, into the well we go. Into the well we go. Oh gosh, let's go. Let's go find my rock. Ooh. Are you what I- Gold coins! Oh. You know, gold coins can be helpful in any game. The clay is packed. I'll need a trowel. Trowel? Froggy! Oh. No, get back here! Oh, I lost the froggy. Clay. Okay. More clay. Where do I find the rock? I will get the froggy. Never- Don't worry about it. More frog slime. Alright. Was this how I was supposed to get frog slime? Because I, I still need a shiny stone. What's over this way? I have a trowel. I do like how they have the outline of the stuff. Ooh, what's in here? Oh, it's locked. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, shiny stone, nice. I kind of want to know what's in the chest though before I leave. Something stirs inside but does not emerge. Oh, so there's another shiny stone over here. Well, I think I'm done down here. I mean, I can come back later. What are you? I can collect some water with a jar. I don't have a jar yet, so. I think I'm done down here for now. I still need the dog hair and the blue feather, which the blue feather I know I can get from the birds on the top and the dog hair. I'm still not sure. Can I not catch you with? Oh yeah, I tried that already. More wood. All right, let's, do we still, have... can I talk to this guy? Uh, let's go back down here then. The wood. Oh, more wood respawned. Okay, cool. Did I just get mushroom from that? Yeah. Is that enough wood for you, sir? Maybe not. I think dig it out with some coal. Right tool. What's the right tool? Huh. I still need to find the blue feather and the dog hair. Do I have a full map of this place? Oh! Wings on the breeze, hair of the dog. Oh! OMG! Cool. Okay, so we need to get... Uh, an experienced eye can see more than sits on the surface. Okay, so it's actually on the map. Wonderful. So, how do I catch these birds? What are you- Oh! Seed trap. How do I build a seed trap? We're to be learned. Seed trap! Ah ha ha! Okay, so I should have the right stuff. Craft some wicker work. And then I can use that to craft a seed trap. And then- Okay, so I can set the trap right here. Wait, what if I go hide in the woods here? I see. Nice! Bird meat and the blue feather. So then I have to go up here for the dog hair thing, right? The dog hair... Hair of the dog. It's over there. So I can go this way. Yes, yes. I'm figuring things out. Ah, there's this guy. Hi, friend. Kilman. Evening, ma'am. Come to check on the pottery. Oh, kiln. Like pottery. I get it now. I'm afraid I just fired the kilns up, so it'll be a while still. Pottery? Bah. I was just admiring that fine canine over there. We need the dog hair. You point to a scraggly looking mutt patrolling the yard. May I give her a petting? Oh, you can try, but I wouldn't if, I, if you value your fingers. She's a touch bitey today and doesn't much like people going near the ovens. I have a way with animals. Surely I can find something to calm her down. So I have to use the G. Borific morsel and shears. So I have the I have the morsel, the meaty morsel, and the mushroom spores, as well as shears. So that should actually spur I learned the recipe. So I need one of these, which I need a jar of water. Oh my god. That actually terrified me, I'm not gonna lie. Um 
I didn't mean to get in your way. I'm just here. I dig out. Hmm. Uh, I need a jar of water. Where do I get a jar of water? I, I'm literally... I literally lost a heart from the dog. I need a jar of water. Where can I find a jar of water? Do find... Ah, where do I get a jar of water? I swear, I'm fine. You're... Ah, uh, don't touch me. I need the jar. Because I need one in you. Which I have plenty of everything. Oh, forest, well, village, square, and fields. But don't I need a jar first? Where do I find a jar? What is over there? I feel like I was just over there. So I was just down in the well, but I needed a jar to get the water. I don't know where to get a jar from. What are you? I don't think I can go that way yet. Is that a house over there? I don't think I can get over there. Can I? No, it doesn't look like it. Where do I get a, a jar? I mean, I guess we can go back in the well. Maybe there's a jar down there that I just missed. Yeah, I can collect some water with a jar. Okay, I lied. We're gonna go back up top. There has to be a jar somewhere. I'm like determined to find a jar. So where did it say you could find a jar of water? Village square and fields. Where's the village square? I think that's like somewhere else entirely. I'm not gonna lie. I need a jar. I feel like I've been everywhere. Unless, yeah, no, I can't get a jar here. You think the well man would have a jar? You do not see me. Oh my god, did that distract him? The little sip ball? No, 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 no. Oh wait, I found jars. Oh, uh, you, uh, you got me again. Dang it. Okay, we're fine. Where's my- I got the empty jars. So I'm gonna craft one. We got three, which means I can now- I'm also gonna craft one of you. Because <laughs> I got hit by the dog one too many times. Gonna heal. Perfect. Awesome. Cool. We go back to the well. Back down into the well. Now that I have jars. We go over here and collect some water. Three jars of water. And now we go back up to the surface. And I get my water so I can get the dog hair. So I can open the, the thing and... Ah, okay. So I can craft this now. Which means I can now make this. Which means I have something to give the doggy. I just need to figure out where I'm going. Nope, that is too far. Throw. Is that close enough? Yeah, it is. Okay, so now what? Do I need the shears? Snip. Ha ha ha. Is that not enough? That's all I'll get for now. Okay, I have the dog hair. Now what do I do? Was that not an... Yo, wait. What do you mean? I got the dog hair. Is there like... Is it on the ground? Do I need to pick it up somehow? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Frog slime, blue feather, shiny stone, and dog hair. That's all I need for those braziers. I should head back home now. Da da da! Okay, now we go home. Now we go home and we ignite these things. Yeah. Yeah! I just need to figure out how to get back. Oh, it's over here. Cool. Into the decay. Oh, what are you? Hearth seed. Ooh, I didn't know we could collect ingredients and things here. Back home. So do I, I need to ignite them, ignite them, or while throwing the things. Oh, hearth seed. Wait a second. I'm going back. Back into the darkness for a second. I think I ha there should be more. Possibly. Or, oh, maybe one will do the tr whole entire trick. I don't know. We're just gonna, we're gonna go back home. Because there's only that one, and I don't want to have to re wait for three more to respawn. I think I'm over here? Yes. You. Ash caked brazier. The brazier awaits an offering. Blue feather. A strong force pulls the feather down into the large basin like a magnet. It bursts into a bright flash of light as cold flames engulf its essence. Okay, so it just lights on its own. Awesome. Awaits an offering. Give it the dog hair. The dog hair takes a moment to fall from your fingers, fluttering down into the basin one by one. The fur bristles into foul-smelling coils before erupting into a cold green flame. Awesome. Awesome. Number three. Awaits an offering. Give it the frog slime. You gently squeeze the globs of wet slime from your satchel into the basin. The mucus bubbles and pops before cold flames reduce it to a fine, odorless ash. And then the last one. You have I the shiny stone. You drop the stone into the basin with a resounding chiming sound. Ooh, that sounds like it would be a nice sound. Fractures trace across the pebble before it cracks open and a cold green light swallows it within its flames. Shrine entrance. The emerald flames of the braziers place strong shadows across the stone doorway. 
You watch as fingers of shadow crawl up the rock face and crack open the solid granite like stale bread. The stone crumbles away into darkness, revealing a yawning stairway descending down into the cold earth. After you, madame. Milady. Okay. Enter the shrine. This is quite a long demo, I do have to say. Ooh. Ooh, now what? Ooh, a red carpet. Fancy. Oh. Oh, you're dead. Huh. Sleeping maiden. Encased inside a gilded crystal coffin lies the body of a young woman. Though she sleeps in an enchanted slumber, her ageless features express a deep sadness. Oh. Oh, that can't be good. The sound of cloven hooves echo against this marble floor as the goat comes to your side. Quite something, isn't she? Do you remember bringing her to me? I brought her to you? Why? Who is she? I haven't the faintest idea. All I know is you brought her lifeless form to my doorstep and begged me to save her soul. Save her from what? And why is she asleep? Why, from the twelve wicked souls whom you said wronged her in life. Villains who deceived her and cheated her and broke her spirit. Ugh. You know, that life do be like that. And as we agreed here, she will sleep until our contract is fulfilled. Until you bring me those 12 wicked souls. Yo, wait, wait, this is kind of cool. What? I remember no such contract. Our pact is binding regardless of what you do or don't do not remember. At the goat's words, you feel something hard and dark locked away in the deep depths of your heart. It speaks the truth. And just why should I do your bidding? Seems like a lot of bothersome trouble to me. What do I care about some sleeping beauty? Is this like a play on Sleeping Beauty or not? Bring me the 12 souls and I will release the Sleeping Maiden from her slumber. Our agreement will be fulfilled. So that's like the premise of the game. Wait, that's super cool. Who knows? In time, you may even remember why you brought her to me in the first place. Or you can simply return to the comfort of your little hovel, where you will waste away until the weeds grow so thick that not even your shears will be able to cut you free. Oh, I, I, I love the dialogue and your mind will stay as empty as that grimoire of yours. But it is a big decision to make so hastily. Why don't you sleep on it? A heavy weight fills your marrow. Your eyelids flutter, barely able to stay open. What have you done to me? I... I can't stay awake. Oh, that must be the end of the demo. What is going on here? Hello? Thank you for playing the demo! Which one will be out in 2021? All right. Wow, that was actually so cute. Oh my God, I loved it. Oh, that was so cute and pretty. Ah, I loved it so much. We're gonna film the outro like this because I absolutely love this art. I think it's so fun and I can't wait to see how this sort of thing shows up later on in game. I loved this. I am so, so looking forward to the actual release of this game. It was so cute. I've been wanting to play like a good cozy game for a really long time and I just haven't really had the time to or like found a really good one but this one is so perfect for October. I'm actually while I'm sitting here I'm gonna look up the release on my phone because oh my god was this amazing. I loved this so much but this is such a cute game. I really hope it comes out this month because I 200% will pay for it to play the rest of it for like Halloween time. Initial release date for Huh. It says that the initial release date for PS4 and PS5 was June 16th, 2020, and the platforms were Nintendo Switch, Microsoft Windows, Linux, Macintosh, PlayStation 5. That's strange, though, because it said it's not released. Huh. Here, let me look up which would release date. December 2021. You know, I'll play it in December. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> I'll still play it in December. It doesn't have like an actual date yet. It just says 2021, which that's fine by me. Or it says December 2021, which like, okay, I, it's going to stay on my Steam wish, wish list. So I'll know when it comes out, but I'm so excited. I hope it actually releases 2021 and it doesn't have to be pushed back to 2022. Understandable if that does happen, because that's like something that's very common in the gaming industry as a whole right now is and like animation and everything as things have to be pushed back but the fact that it's going to be on switch makes me really excited too because definitely uh as cozy games on switch are an experience that i love and i actually might get it on switch so i can play it like handheld um over and over again this is something that i would 200 percent play over and over again but it looks so cool and i'm so happy anyways that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed i will link this game on steam down below so you guys can add it to your wish list because please do it looks so fun i'm not sponsored this is just absolutely the cutest thing ever and i loved it i do do think i might have dropped some frames while filming this video but hopefully it wasn't that bad anyways 
If you like this video, make sure to give me a like down below as well as subscribe for more and click the little notification bell to be notified when I upload new ones. If you made it this far in the video, comment down below. Is there a little witch hat emoji? I think there's a witch emoji, so comment that. Comment that one. Yeah. Comment any sort of witchy emojis. As always, I hope everyone had us having a super lovely day wherever you are in the world and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys! Oh,